What's up guys, after a very eventful three weeks for Team Vitality, we finally know their roster for the next season. However, after all this time, it's still complicated for them and in this video, I'm gonna explain to you why. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Guys, there you have it, the expected lineup for Vitality is Alpha, Redosin, Sazen and Zen. So four players will be on the roster for Vitality. So after all these weeks of back and forth, trying out with KDOP, trying out with Alpha and Redosin, we have KDOP being benched. Unfortunately, the report doesn't state it at all where he goes. It's just saying down here that they're going to have Sazen instead of KDOP on the starting roster. I expect him to be benched. Maybe they're going to allow him to explore his options, but it's quite late now, so it's kind of odd. This now also means that they're going to have a player on their roster that can play in spring the earliest. So Zen is only eligible to play after the winter split and therefore someone is most likely going to replace after the winter split again. And and this is already a spicy situation and now that KDOP is removed and Zen is not ready yet they had to go with another third option. In the end here they decided to go with Sazen but we need to take a look at the whole history of this because it got so absurd before they decided to go with this option and for that I have a message from the owner of Shift called Achilles and he wrote the history down here and I reported all these moves on my channel but there was so much going on and he also said he has never seen anything like it before so let's go through this real quick astro was the favorite to round off this roster his move collapsed because probably of this racist clip that surfaced at some point and therefore it fell through then joris had his tryouts but they only gave him a very bad offer so he said nah i'm not gonna take it i want to go to another orc with RG plus one. A few hours later, then Vitality comes crawling back to Joris saying, okay, you can have the same money this orc is giving you, but Joris already said with RG wants this team. And then Vitality is like, okay, we're gonna go all the way back, crawl back to Astral as well. And he then had chosen Moist and Vitality was left empty handed. This then meant they had to go for a whole different option and it was reported back then that they were looking at Sazen and Chosset. Now obviously they went with Sazen, you already saw it, but after this tweet on the 14th, well I really don't know where it'll end up but F this roster mania. I didn't think it was gonna be Sazen. It turned out to be him though. I really would have thought it could have been Chaussette now, even though I also think with Chaussette, this would not be a world's winning team or potential world's winning team. So yeah, I thought this was off the table, but then they decided to go with Sazen and he probably just takes the back and expects to be kicked after winter again. I don't know that though. Uh, it's kind of an obscure situation over there. Now, the interesting thing about the Sazen signing is that he has played with Redosin before. They have been on Atlantide Wave and later on Williams Resolve. And if we take a look at this, they didn't have the worst results. In the Fall Major this season, they had a 5th to 8th. And in the Winter Major, number 1, they also had a 5th to 6th. So you could really see their potential shine through at some points during the season. And of course, in Spring, they had to go without Redosin and got Stake in, who is probably a bit past his peak. And the results kind of tanked afterwards. So they are going to be reunited now again and already have some synergy built. And now you got to think about it like this. They already had these results as Redosin, Sazen and Prime. And now Prime is basically taken out and you put Alpha in and all on Vitality. So this is basically the Williams Resolve roster with Alpha instead of Prime. And then it sounds way better in my ears that you get a roster with huge potential and maybe some unexpected good results because this right here looks promising to me. What I still think is a little bit insane about this situation is that they sign four players knowing that they are most likely gonna kick one going into the spring split. And I think this is really gotta harm the atmosphere within the team because you have to perform and imagine like your teammate makes a mistake and you go out early in a tournament. The whole team looks bad, obviously. And then you at the end in a regional that might be better for your team, but you individually didn't perform. It looks bad on you, right? I could imagine this to be very taxing on the mentality of the players in this season. However, on the flip side, I think this roster with the three starters that we have now is better than it looks in the beginning. Because of what I said with it being basically Williams Resolve, with Alpha added the veteran, by now he is a veteran, could really lead this team back to success and what Zen then can do in the future. We're gonna see how that turns out for now. They have two splits to show what they're capable of. But it would also be awesome to hear your opinion. So let me know in the comments what you think 
think about this new roster and also what you think about Zen joining later on. Now to round this video out, we have the once prodigy Moxie announcing he is looking for a team. Like many other once mains before him, he wants to make a switch and said hello everyone just a quick tweet to tell that i'm officially leaving youtube and the twitch grind i'm not gonna stream as much as before and i'm looking for a team for the next season dm me for tryouts so the question about him right now is how good is he in threes already because obviously the mechanics are there he has shown it and proved it in a lot of show matches has topped the leaderboards and once many times so we all know he is cracked but threes has a little bit more to offer than just being mechanically goaded you also need to have the rotations down a lot of synergy with your teammates and since we don't know how good he would be in the RLCS, a lot of high caliber teams holding back from signing him until he had some success with a bubble team that's how it works for most people who want to make this switch at least and i could see this happen for him as well for himself obviously this is a huge step as well because he was averaging more than 1000 viewers on twitch and also had some success on youtube so he is leaving a huge pile of money on the ground and wants to turn into a competitive player and make a living that way i respect it but we're gonna see where he lands he's only 16 years old so maybe he's gonna get on a bubble team first and then later on he's gonna be signed by a big organization i'm more than excited to see him play if he gets on a team but until then it's just an announcement by him and uh, we're gonna see how it turns out in the end now guys if you didn't know i'm farming a roster as well it's called nifty subscribers and i want you to join it so hit the red button below and make it gray would mean a lot to me and that is gonna be it for today i see you guys next time